Welcome guys back to the channel. In today's uh, video, well, let's start off with what happened last video. We went over JWT authentication bypass via unverified signature. Um, and in this video, we are going to do authentication bypass via flawed signature verification. So a little bit different, a different JWT uh, JSON web token attack. And I think we should just hop straight into it, you know? So, if we want to read a little bit about it and kind of go over it, we can see that the what it says here. So it says, accepting tokens with no signature. The GWT header contains an algorithm parameter. We already went over that in the first video. And it goes with the um, encryption algorithm here. This tells the server which algorithm was used to sign the token and therefore which algorithm it needs to use when verifying the token, the signature. This is inherently flawed because the server has no option but to implicitly trust user controllable input from the token, which at this point hasn't been verified at all. In other words, an attacker can directly influence how the server checks whether the token is trustworthy. Let's open this in a new tab. So here it says that JWTs can be signed using a range of different algorithms. We've seen that in the first video, but can also be left unsigned. In this case, the algorithm parameter is set to none which indicates a so-called unsecured web token. Due to the obvious dangers of this, servers usually reject tokens with no signatures. Okay, so we, based on this, we have an idea of what this lab is gonna ask us to do. We have to mess with the algorithm and change it to none. Um, that way, uh, the token is left unsigned. Uh, let me stop this. And let's go here. Open this in a new link. Okay. So, the lab. It says, to solve the lab, modify your session token to gain access to the admin panel, then delete the user Carlos. Okay. Via flawed signature verification. So, based on this, let me draw it out. We have to access slash admin. Don't mind my uh, horrible handwriting with the mouse. We have to delete the user, uh, Carlos. And we have to remove the signature. and change algorithm to none. Okay. Since we are able to change the algorithm to none, the token can't get signed or verif um, and the signature can't get verified, right? Therefore, if we remove the signature from the JSON web token, we have full access to what's edited on the payload. So if we access the lab, we are brought to the website where let's give it some time we are here and let's go to our account with our credentials and we are going to intercept this login request okay so based on what we just said we want to change the request from my account to slash admin we want to access the admin panel step one complete now let's send this to repeater uh, let me go to extender first and download the JWT editor you guys should install this too it's really good installing there we go now here we are going to change the algorithm to none as we read in the description and we are going to change this to administrator because we want to access the admin panel as administrator right so our serialized and our new serialized jwt to uh, token or json web token is right here we can just copy and if we replace it we should be good now 
What does this say? Give me a second here. It says even if the token unsigned, the payload part must still be terminated with a trailing dot. So we already know that each section is separated by a trailing dot the header the payload and the signature they, there's three dots so we are able to delete up to the second dot delete the signature and it has to end with the trailing dot now with all of this changed um in repeater we should be able to access the admin panel let's render it and let's see here we got the admin panel nice so based on this we were able to delete the signature and remove the uh, algorithm to none there was no way to encrypt um, the signature no way to verify the token so let's copy this copy go back to our proxy and replace this and we should forward it and we are in the admin panel now let's go here or now let's delete the user carlos we have to replace our token with the modified one one more time and our user is successfully deleted and the lab is solved so today was just a quick video showing how uh tokens are accepted with no uh, signature how we can edit it um delete the algorithm modify the header um so yeah thank you guys for watching um this is part two again in part three we will go over brute forcing secret keys um that i'm predicting to be a bit longer video but for today this is the second uh jason web token video and we will hopefully go through a bunch of these attacks you know upscale our web security and i hope you guys stick through it thank you